um, and I, I don't know, like I said, they, there's not as much uh, torture and humiliation, so in this one, they, you know, they kind of take them, it's like, you know, sorry, we can't risk you because you've seen our faces, so that's when they start getting, you know, they, they get a little creepy, like, um, Francis, you know, he's kind of like molesting them a little bit, and Sadie's, you know, acting all crazy, and, you know, she's kind of molesting them too, but they, they take them somewhere, um, they take them on the road, they're, you know, um, I, I forget where they're going, probably, you know, just to escape somewhere, and then they get into a car crash, and then that's how they get out into the woods, you know, instead of their car breaking down, they get into a car crash, and then they, they, the crash is caused by, you know, one of them trying to escape while they're in the car, so crew is pissed off and then they, they start like just fucking with the girls you know just like they're pissed off or get them in a crash and you know not so much out of just fun Ooh, let's have some fun with these girls like in the original um, so and then there's a rape scene that la which I'm surprised in this day and age they got away with with an R rating um, lasts for about a minute or two and uh, Krug is like, um, he, he kind of bullies his son around and he's like, you know, he's, got, he's sitting right there, he's like, Justin, you want to be a man? So it's like he tries to get him to rape one of the girls or both of them and then like one of the girls like, you're pathetic. I think it's Paige who said that and then that's when she gets killed and then it, it when she gets stabbed like in the original but it's not as... Um, I don't know, it's not as intense. I mean, the way they stabbed the the way they stabbed Phyllis in the original, it's like she spit and she spit in one of the guys' faces and you know, she he warned her like you do that again, you're dead and it's like oh, oh you're like, Oh shit, she did it again and then he just like fucking brutally just stabs her, you know, repeatedly while, you know, somebody's holding her and then I don't know, it's just like the whole, the musical stings, like, clink, clink, clink. And then Sadie, you know, taking her knife and digging it in, and, you know, they disembowel her, play with her intestines, all that. Here, all they do is just, like, stab her, and then she falls. You know, stab her, like, two or three times. She falls and dies slowly, or eventually, I guess. But it's not as uh, gruesome and just, I don't know, the word um, besides intense um, I don't know it, it just didn't traumatize me as much maybe it's because I've just seen a lot of this you know, a lot of horror movies and gore movies and maybe I'm just desensitized or whatever but um, yeah and then yes yeah, so those there's no disembowelment and um, Mary she survives this time. She doesn't die like in the original. Um, she gets shot in the lake, but she doesn't die from that. She actually manages to make it up to the house later, and then, you know where her parents find her. But meanwhile, uh, you know how it goes. The villains make it up to the parents' house, and um, I guess in the in the original that whole sequence where you know Mary Colwyn dies and then or she kind of sort of dies, but I don't know. I explained the original review where there was some editing problems with that. So the edited DVD version that I have, or at least not, it, it's unrated, but the way they edited the movie during that sequence, it was kind of confusing, and then like you don't know did she. Because when they found her, it looked like she was kind of still alive, but there was, there were, the lines were dubbed and they were saying she's dead, so it kind of confused you a little bit, whereas here in the remake, it's all, you know, well done, it's more coherent and um, better written, better edited. <clears throat> um, so, let me see. They... And the parents, instead of letting them stay at inside their house, they have a guest house. So I guess that's more, 
you know, hip to the, to the times, to the current times, you know. It's like nowadays, who would be dumb enough to just like let people sleep over, strangers sleep over at their house. I don't know, it's still kind of risky, but yeah, it's a guest house, so it's more, it's better. Uh, and there's a scene where, you know, Francis, you know, he's getting his nose stitched up by Dr. Collinwood, so it's like, uh, it's a lot of, um, I don't know, a lot of the violence is, um, I, I don't know, that, I wouldn't consider that violence, it's, except when he rips it back off during the end, but, uh, god damn, jumping all over the place here.